Welcome back. Continuing our coverage now, President Trump tested positive for COVID-19. He announced it overnight. Has been causing a ripple effect in the market. This is a look at the big board this morning, now down 249 points. It was down almost 400 points at opening. Our financial expert and owner of Bruce G. Allen Investments joins us now to talk about this. Bruce Allen, always good to see you. So why do the markets react so wildly to these types of uh, situations, to this type of news? Three reasons. Number one is um, Donald Trump, President Trump, runs the one of the, ex the branches of the U.S. government, the executive branch. When the president is ill or his life is threatened, such as when President Ronald Reagan was uh, attempted to be, was shot in 1981, that puts a level of uncertainty about who's running that branch of the government. And frankly, right now, given this pandemic, who's running this, who's minding the store? Is it Donald Trump or is it Mike Pence right now? Number two, what does this do for the campaign? What uncertainties does this bring up about the campaign and how does this impact the race for the president coming up here in a, just a matter of weeks? And lastly is some investors are very concerned that the market will do very poorly without Donald Trump as president. I don't agree with that assessment. I think it's incorrect, but I think that there are some people that believe in that. And so any threat to him is gonna stir that small group of investors who maybe are concerned about the president's health impacting the race and also impacting the stock market. Bruce, we have about a minute left. Did this type of thing, uh, can it go on for a while? Because as we know, this illness goes on for a while. So will we see the markets reacting for weeks to come? I think the markets are going to adjust for this news, and they're in the process of doing that. Some of that's going to happen today, and some of that's going to happen over the weekend as many people sit down and have sober meetings with their colleagues about what does this mean for both the stock market, the bond market, and the oil markets. For example, you've seen very big weakness in oil this morning. So we'll watch uh, and see how this is going to impact all the markets. We'll probably see more of this happening on Monday because Friday before this weekend, some people are going to be out of, out of work. They're going to be at home. Yep, absolutely. Bruce, Bruce Allen, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thanks for getting up on short notice and joining us. Absolutely. Okay.